Welcome to Next Level Toys at the local thrift store. They stock all kinds of stuff. And uh, this is why I like doing this. Some cars. And uh, look at this. That's a red line. You would not believe what we just found coming up right now on Next Level Toys. We just had to make a trip to our local thrift store and got some toys. I have not investigated, but we got something amazing that I found in this bag. Got another bag here. Got a bag of cars. And if you're into old cards, we got assortments of cards that we will open up. All kinds of different cards. So, uh, Let's get right to it. First, I want to start off with the smallest thing. I don't know if I overpaid on it, but vintage blocks for $1.69. Uh, I've seen a lot of old blocks, but I've never seen them quite like this. Let me know what you think. How old do you think those are? I'm guessing 70, 80 years old or more. Whoop. I just lost one. Thing's still rolling. That's about 50 cents a block. All right, so we're done with that. Let's jump into this bag. I really don't even know why I got it. I think it's because of the bus, because I like school buses. Got some blocks, Batman toy. There is a train here. It is of no specialty. We know who that is. Chuggington. Here's the bus that we got. Yeah, I didn't know, but it's actually a monster bus. And I forgot to tell you how much we paid for this. Two dollars and eighty cents. How random. We also got it because there's a figure in here. Looks like a newer model G.I. Joe. Pretty hard basketball. We can have some fun with that maybe in another video. The rest of this uh, we will be donating. There's another Chuggington. Uh, mostly younger toys. We're not into that. And my son, is uh, he's nine years old now, so he is not into this either. Now that that's out of the way, I'm not going to keep y'all waiting because I'm eager to see what this is. We gave $1.99 for this bag. Didn't really see anything interesting in it until the bottom here. Did we find a red line Hot Wheel car? It definitely looks like it or maybe even an old Johnny Lightning red line. We have got to find this out. Water gun. gun, but let's skip that. What is this? Nerf, Nerf shin guards. Soccer looks like. Uh, champion sports. A whole bunch of them. All right, what is this? It is an all metal. Rivers, revivers. Is this a Hot Wheel car, folks? It's made in Hong Kong. Look at those red lines. I have been collecting cars for a long time. I'm talking over 20 years. I have never seen anything like this. Patent pending. It is by Mattel. If you can get a better look at that. It's got some kind of weird rotating thing on the back of it. I'm guessing you put something like a rubber band around it, maybe. It looks like all the hubcaps are on it. I don't see nothing missing. Please let me know about this if you know any information. 
That is an awesome find for $1.99. It is. I wish it would say Hot Wheels on it, but wow, that's just beautiful. I hate even touching it. Got a bird. Uh, wood shop. Little miniature toy. A knockoff Jeep. A whole bunch of the knockoff miniature cars. Got hundreds of these. I don't even know what to do with them. If we ever get popular, I will be glad to do it drawing and give them away to one lucky viewer we got a hot wheel bike though it's not too old but it is a hot wheel i believe yep Ugh. 2000 hot wheels a water gun a pterodactyl uh power rangers half no toy Ooh, these can always come in handy that's pretty cool. Tech Deck. Paw Patrol coloring book. My son just got out of that. Unfortunately, he's growing too fast. A whole bunch of these little knockoff cars. Who knows why I can do a video with those too. <laughs> Star Trek. And, uh, looks like a weird Nara Darth Vader there. All kinds of weird characters here. American Idol. <laughs> Nothing else appealing. Digi Sports 2008. That's kind of cool. A little handheld game. We're going to save the cards for last because we got just one bag left. They never price a bag over $4. $3.99. It has a lot of weight though. And there's some vintage Hot Wheels already in here, I can tell, but from what I've seen. So this should be a treat. I love black walls. Uh, let's see what we have. There's a knockoff police car. This is just full of cars. A 2002 Eclipse by Hot Wheels. I love the El Caminos. I do not have this color version. 2008. Again, the dates are not accurate. You can only go by the wheels. There's a Porsche by Matchbox. Here's a vintage definite. Made in Thailand. 1986. It is a doom buggy. You can tell by the older wheels and the body style that this is a vintage and in pretty nice shape. That's one of the things that caught my eye on this bag. Got a Mercedes Hot Wheels. Uh, for $4, dollars you can't beat this. It's just a bag full of cars. We got a Corvette Racing Champions. And it's even got rubber tires on it. I did not even know that was in there. And uh, it's... It, oh, it is missing the front bumper. Darn it. Them plastic bumpers. Why? On such a nice detailed car, they gotta put a plastic bumper on it. Another. This is an older knockoff. Oh, there's an action figure in here. Who is this? Uh, it is not a G.I. Joe. Road Champions? Guessing he rode a bike. Probably. You don't have an O-ring, but he's an older action figure. So that's a nice little surprise. 1998. We'll just skip that. Jurassic Park Happy Mill toy. Looks to be an older car. I have a bunch of these. Uh, it's not El Camino, but it's something plastic car. Oh, look at this. Please be made in Hong Kong, Malaysia, 1977. Everybody loves these cars. Yes, all metal. It is an older one. You can tell by the black walls. Definitely, at least definite 80s. It's got some weight. 
no broken pieces either. That's a nice find right there. In an antique store, someone would easily put four or five bucks on that. We got ourselves a Majestic truck. Not a big fan, but they are getting better with the die cast. They are looking a lot better. Maybe I have a Hot Wheels stunt car. So many cars in this bag. And we have a MC toy. I've come across a few of these over the years. They got a bad issue with the paint. Possible color changer. Ooh. We got a Corvette. And this is a Corvette Stingray. How beautiful is that? This is like a real Riders car. A definite older one. It's all metal. Malaysia it says 79, but we know that's not accurate. But that is a nice find. I love Corvettes and the detail on this. Look at the hope the camera can zoom in on that hood. It's just got some amazing detail in this. Four dollars. We got a Pirates of the Caribbean type of. We've seen this die cast many times. It's still being made today. That, uh, he caught a fish. Good, uh, the good and the bad. It's a coupe. This is the older one from the 90s. You can tell by the wheel design. We got another vintage Hot Wheels. 1978. Royal Flash. I don't have the white one. I do now, though. I got the brown one. It looks like a copper. How plain is that, though? I mean, there's no nothing on it. It's just a white car. You can tell by the bottom, it is definitely a lot older. Black wall. That is a very nice find. There's this bag just shop full of goodies. Oh. Um, we just found something super freaking even more amazing. This is a Hot Wheels car, I believe, yes. 1978, oh, 2011, I tell you, it's not that old. Nine years old. It had me tricked. It really did. This thing weighs a lot. I mean, it is solid metal. You got the opening hood. I thought I found an older car that might be of value because the writing on the bottom kind of looks vintage. But it's in real nice shape. It's a Volkswagen Jetta. Yeah, we got a racing. No, this is a Johnny Lightning. The Fox Buddy. Fox Body Mustang. We got the opening hood, the, the big block engine, not rubber tires, but they are different size tires. And this is 1999, 2003, so it's early 2000s. That's a nice find. There's, this bag's just chock full of goodies. Sadly, we're most out of them. Here's a Johnny Lightning Dodge Charger, uh, 1998-1973. It's pretty rough though. It looks vintage on it. Someone yanked off all the paint. Johnny Lightning makes some good cars, especially the older ones. Them older ones are really good collector's items. So, solid metal car though. Then we have a knockoff Mini Cooper. It's not Matchbox or Hot Wheels, but it's not too bad detail. Probably vintage. Mr. Bean actually had one of these, if y'all remember. He 
He's a funny camera, funny guy. <laughs> I got a couple of these. These were early 2000s. I don't think they turned out to be a big hit. These, these big wheels and the car. Uh, we got one last car in here and it's a beauty. I've got the blue and the white, but now I got the green. This is the early 80s, mid 80s Cadillac. Green is my favorite color. That windshield, as y'all know, it turns yellow after so long and breaks off. Same with the headlights because they're plastic. This is a very nice find. In fact, I don't know if it's white, it might be black, but I do have the blue one up there. I have so many cars, but that is a nice Cadillac and not too many paint issues. Absolutely gorgeous. We had to move the car because we don't want no auto focusing. This is the cards now. Dollar uh, ninety nine. I'm the biggest Superman person in the world. I love Superman. And when I seen these, I couldn't pass this up for $2. That's a hamburger. These things are as old as I am, if not older. So we're not going to go through all these, but uh, we'll go do a quick glimpse here. How old are these actually? 1980 DC Comics. The Man of Steel. These are sadly mass produced by means of them. So they're not worth a whole lot. But uh, Krypton? Kryptonian? Uh, let's just go through them. There's Clark Kent. I dressed up as him one year for Christmas. But uh, I'm not going to go through all these because there's just a whole bunch of them. These are in very, very nice condition. Even the corners are actually really nice. If you like, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see these in a video, which I might do anyway. Just a separate video and go through these like I did with the Batman cards. Someone put the sticker off of that. These are really nice. Scenes from the original Superman movie. <laughs> Actually, there's a piece of the sticker. And we even got an old piece of a kaleidoscope. <laughs> That's the Superman kaleidoscope from 78. So it says, the viewfinder. I had one of them when I was a kid. $2? That's some history right there. So yeah, look at those in our future We Will Make a Superman video. Yeah, this was also there. Someone must have just donated the whole collection. Dollar uh, ninety nine. I have no idea what this is. But the Star Wars got my attention. But we got a plastic case, which half of us there. I'm going to say the case alone is a couple bucks. Uh, we got, are these the older Star Wars? Yes, they are. These are from the 80s. We, uh, Weapon of Light. The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> we got all kinds of them. There's a Dukes of Hazard. Oh, a Wookiee. Chewbacca, my favorite Star Wars. We got Darth Vader, Star Wars. Another good Chewy. We'll have to do a video about these two, won't we? For $2, though? I mean, let me know what y'all think. Just all kinds of good stuff. It looks like all Star Wars. For a second there, I thought that was a baseball card. There's Luke Skywalker in his prime. Very nice. Yeah, these look like they're newer. 1990. If you know anything about these, was uh, this I never got into. Famous Battle of Marvel Comics. Uh, what do y'all think? Are these collector items? I'm sure they are because they are in really nice shape. There's multiples of them. 
with different names. Sorry, we're not trying to put 30 minutes into the video with cards, but uh, just giving you a quick glimpse of what we got for two dollars. And we got super villains. Collect your super villains. Apocalypse. Uh, these are 1990, so they do have some age on them. And uh, we really got some interesting looking cards here. Rookies. Rookie cards? Unfortunately, I'm too lazy, but I might get around and looking these up to see if they are of any value. They could be limited, I'm not sure. This has my attention though, so I'm going to put these in a plastic box. And people donate stuff after so long, and or just gives them away and they have no idea what it is. What is this? Oh, Star Trek checklist. Uh, I know the Star Trek cards were really, really mass produced. Although these are the next generation cards from 1991. We got Spock and... I'm a big Star Trek fan. I, I love anything sci-fi. I prefer the original 70s shows the best. So we got a whole bunch of Star Trek cards. With... Ah, there is some scenes of the original episodes. Some. Not all. Captain Kirk. Every one of these cards is Captain Kirk. Alright. So. This is what threw me off though. This was on the top of the cards. That's not Star Trek, is it? I have no idea. But that's definitely not Star Trek. T-Rex? Alright. One more goodie bag full of cards. And again, $1.99. So six dollars for every card that you see here. I just bought these because it was the only other pack. And I'm assuming it came from the same person. We got Overpower. A couple cards from Overpower. Spider-Man. Uh, these are also from the early 90s. So... Average odds this person was about as old as I was before someone finally got rid of uh, their cards. Um, we got the 30th anniversary, 63 to 93. Everybody knows the wizard. That was a price guide for comic books. Some of them came with a card. I have a few because I still got all my wizard comics from the 90s. That's awesome. Someone actually preserved that card. I don't know if I should show this because someone actually drew Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so uh, we're not going to get into that, but that is some cool little artwork there. Super villains. You just never know what you're going to buy. Yep, there's some Star Trek cards in here, so this definitely came from the same person. Sonic and Knuckles. It's just a random free for all of that. Those are stuck together. That's not good. No, it's just a bunch of cards that's been thrown together. Because here's an older card Rocky. A Rocky card? That's definite early 80s. Sega Genesis sticker. Whoever this person was collected the same stuff I was into. I don't have them, but look at these. These are actual stickers from the Sega Genesis. And uh, they're in really nice shape. This, I believe, Windstorm, that is not from Wizard, but Wizard did put a lot of that kind of stuff out in their price guides. Da -da -da. 
that's probably from the wizard. Oh no. Uh, we got some sticky, which is not good because these are the hologram cards. It looks like they're all possibly from wizard books. We might be able to save them. But something's got on them in the past. But it's not too bad. It's just a little bit of dirt, looks like. Again, these things are 20 some years old now. It's not too bad. These are really pretty. I know it sounds bad, but I think it's just from where they've been sitting for so long. And they put this really, really high gloss on there. All right, let's not waste too much time on that. There's another. That's the early 90s Star Trek. I thought for a second that's an older one. But Spock wasn't in there. Overlord. More Overlord. Star Trek. There's some more of these stickers. If y'all know anything about these older stickers, let me know. I, I know they're from the 90s. They could have some value, but just a lot of Overlord and more of those superhero cards. You'd really have to know what you're looking for to buy this stuff. And uh, there could be a piece of treasure in here. It's all 90s. Ooh! A Jetson hologram. This is in a Bobera. I have no idea what it's from. It's pretty awesome. There's all kinds of little treasures in here. Superman. Mars Attacks. Cut out of a woman. Oh! Magic the Gathering. Deckmaster. This stuff has value, folks. Uh... A long time ago, I watched my friends play this at the local mall. I never got into it. This is number one of one, 1995. Nord. It don't look too uh, appetizing for a play card. But to find one, original one, that could definitely be worth something if it's a... Uh, really important card. There's just all kinds of stuff here. The artwork on these are nice. Oh, folks. We have another Magic the Gathering. This kind of stuff just really gets me going. It's some kind of dragon. Uh, it says one. Is that good or is that absolutely bad? That is beautiful though. What else is in here? Oh my god. I've just been throwing these damn things everywhere. Is there any more of those? Uh, don't look like it. Sorry folks, this is unedited because I like to have the fun and share it with you. But uh, I don't see any more. But I'm going to keep my eye out. Let's see. We still got a good bit of cards in here. I have no idea what these are, but they collected them. Again, I think these are all from the wizard shop guys. They're, they got the same exact backgrounds and stuff. These are marbles. Holographic type of cards. There's a booster pack from Overpower. It has been opened. So someone spent three, four dollars on a booster pack and just put it all back in here. Well, but why? If you know anything about Overpower, you know, should give me a shot. Even though there's not too many cards here. I don't know how old these are, but judging by the age of everything else, I'm guessing 90s, 1995. Infinity Gauntlet. I got the comic books of that. I got all six of them. Didn't know they had a card. Oh, no. 
football. Folks, I got another. Back when the internet was not around, this was the thing to collect. Now, if you want it, you can just find it on the eBay or just kill the values of sports cards. We're not going to get into that, though. Here's Skybox. The thing. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff here. Nick Fury. No idea. Lizard Man. Just all kinds of stuff here. Wolverine versus Venom. Venom, uh, I got a lot of his comic books still. And Jurassic Park. 1995 Marvel Annual. Ten Marvel cards. Uh oh. Did that just happen? Oh, okay. That's how the box is actually made. <laughs> so that explains where these cards come from. Actually, no, these are different. These are the annuals. Wow, these are the designs on these are. Look at that on the light there. Those are high gloss. These could be of definite some value. Invisible woman, but uh, she's not really. These are really nice cards. So many things I got into, and so many things I just didn't get a chance to because there's so much. We are still going through here because there's still a whole bunch. Uh, these are. Looks like all the same. Yeah, we're here. What are these? 1988 Tops Company dinosaur stickers. They remind me of the Cabbage Patch Kids. The stickers from 85, 86. How cool is that? Uh, it even reminds me of the Cabbage Patch Kids. This dinosaur's got a person in half eating him. Uh, yeah, these are actually pretty nice. These could definitely be of value. Apparently, they don't like people. <laughs> oh, that's just wrong. <laughs> Man, these are freaking awesome. I'm not even going to try to mess with these names because uh, Peter Alderon. <laughs> I'm sure they're Catchy, just like the Cabbage Patch Kids. Or Garbage Pal Kids. My bad. Sorry about that. The Garbage Pal Kids is what this is reminding me out of. Not Cabbage Patch. There's a big difference. But, wow. Okay, there's not a human on this one. He's just got a light pole. He must be vegetarian. Triceratators. <laughs> These are great, folks. Around the same time period as the garbage pack is, and I've never even heard of these. They are made by Tops. What else is in here? Business lunch. 1988 Tops Company. Uh, these are the dinosaur cards. That's what these are. So the stickers probably came with the cards, obviously. And these are in like very nice condition. 1988. Look at that. Time Twister, The Ultimate Sacrifice, uh, these are just like the Garbage Pail Kids. Destruction and gore, ugliness, rebuilding our world, dinosaur attack, checklist, just like the Garbage Pail Kids. Very nice artwork. Uh, we'll do a video on these too, obviously. Oh, there's a school bus getting completely and utterly destroyed in a, a train. These are nice condition for six dollars. That's why I love thrift stores, folks, because obviously there could definitely be some treasure here. Very nice tops cards. Tops have made some really awesome cards over the years. We got another booster pack that someone opened. 
Yeah, a couple more Sega stickers. Another marble. Crunch and Munch. That came from the Crunch and Munch. <laughs> Super Babe. Someone wrote on the back of it, and I'm not going to show what that says. But uh, obviously, that's the past person that had these cards. And some more Marvel cards. And overpower. Just a whole bunch of overpower and things. I just don't know much about them. But I do know I like these Sega stickers. And uh, that's just. Check out these real fast. See if there's like a hologram or anything in there. There appears to be at least one hard card in there. Warlock. But I have no idea about the old Empire game. If you do, let me know and I'll be glad to do a video on all these old Empire cards. I want to dig up some history and see exactly if they are even collectible. There was some flops over the years. Alright, this is the last of them. We got Blood Oath. Man, look at these details on these cards. Just you can't even tell by the camera how beautiful these are. Another Captain Kirk. We have the Wolverine, eight of eighteen, in a plastic case. So someone liked it. It looks like two cards are in here. By the flare. Very nice. If I am missing something or overlooking something, please be sure to leave me a comment. It would be much appreciated. I could have cheated and tried to research through looking through the packages, but that takes all the fun out. Because I had no idea all this was in here. What an awesome haul this is. For those who made it to the end of the video, we definitely want to find out more about this I have never heard of it I've never seen anything and let me just give you an idea of how big this car is and it is everybody knows the current El Camino look at this I mean it is that big well you can see how the difference is but that will do it for today thank you for watching next level toys and we will be doing more of these, so uh, please let us know what you think. Until then, uh, happy hunting out there. Goodbye.